Hi people, from the ideal gas equation, we get PV is equal to NKT. And from the kinetic theory, we know P is one third rho mean square speed. If we combine the information from these two equations, we should get something interesting. Let's start by multiplying V to both sides of this equation. PV is NKT. So the left hand side of the equation is NKT. Rho times V is mass. Uh, which mass? Mass of the gas. Let's multiply the three on to the left hand side. And let's divide N over to the right hand side. So what is the mass of the gas divided by the number of gas particles? that would give us the mass of each gas particle. Now let's multiply half to both sides of this equation. What is half m mean square speed? Um, since half m is a constant, I can write this thing as the average of half m c squared. A gas consists of a gazillion number of gas particles. So what we are doing here is half m times c1 square plus half m times c2 square plus half m times c2 c3 square and so on, and then we average it. But each half m c square is actually the ke of each gas particle. So this term here is actually the average ke of the gas particles which we now know is equals to 3 over 2 kT. So turns out there's a very simple relationship between the average translational kE of the gas particles in a gas and the thermodynamic temperature of the gas. So what's the internal energy of a gas? It's a summation of the microscopic kE due to the random motion of the gas particles and the potential energy due to the intermolecular bonds. For an ideal gas, there's no intermolecular bonds at all, so the potential energy of an ideal gas is zero. And if we are talking about a monatomic gas, meaning the gas consists of atoms, not molecules, then the only form of Ke the atoms can have is the translational Ke, so 3 over 2 kT. If you are an atom, then the only form of Ke you can have is the half mv squared that comes from you moving about, right? If you are a molecule, then besides the translational ke, you can also have um, rotational ke, because um, as a molecule you can rotate. For the H2 syllabus, we are only concerned with monatomic gases. So for us, ke is always equals to n times 3 over 2 kT, because 3 over 2 kT is the average ke. For the total energy, you must multiply it with the number of atoms in the gas. So the internal energy of a gas is 3 over 2 nKT, or if you want, you can also write it as 3 over 2 nRT. So just like that, we obtained um, two rather useful formula. The average translational Ke is directly proportional to the thermodynamic temperature. The average translational Ke is 3 over 2 kT. We also have the internal energy of an ideal monatomic gas. It turns out to be 3 over 2 nRT. So that's all. Ta-ta!